Congressman Greg Stubbe from House Judiciary and Forbes Media Chair. Editor-in-Chief Steve Forbes is with us, too. Okay, Congressman, so what's the fallout of what's going on with the, this Senate hearing for the nominee? Uh, it seems like the GOP is scoring points showing that the Democrats are weak on crime. But, you know, then you have the media saying, well, they're bashing the media, uh, the media is bashing the GOP for asking, for daring to ask the questions about her record. Well, and this is the same Democrats that put Kavanaugh through the hearings that we saw that Justice Kavanaugh had to put go through in the mainstream media crucifying him over things that weren't even factually accurate that had factually occurred. And now Democrats that run this committee are giving Cruz and other Republicans a hard time just for asking this justice, this su supposed justice on the Supreme Court, questions about her record. And in a question, she wouldn't even answer if she could define the definition of a woman. I mean, obviously, this is a person that has political backings, that has a progressive ideology, that doesn't have a ideology of the, what a jurist should be, calling balls and strikes for what they, they should be, if you can't even define what the definition of a woman is. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Steve, it's good to see you. To the congressman's point, I'd like you to listen to this. There are real tensions today, again, between uh, Judge Brown Jackson and South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. He asked the Supreme Court nominee about her approach to sentence in child pornography cases. Watch this. Senator, with respect to the computer, one of the most effective deterrents is one that I imposed in every case and that judges across the country impose in every case, which is substantial, substantial supervision. I think the best way to deter people from getting on a computer and viewing thousands and hundreds and over time maybe millions, the population as a whole, of children being exploited and abused every time somebody clicks on, is to put their ass in jail, not supervise their computer usage. Senator, I wasn't talking about um, verses. Okay, you know, Steve, why would anybody think supervision would work? Uh, it really doesn't, sadly, in the real world. We know in the real world all too often, uh, people who have been put on parole don't show up for their uh, checks every week or every month. Uh, we know in New York and elsewhere, when people get on, out on bail, they don't go to the courts. They go, they go back to committing crimes. So uh, supervision, yeah, in the real world, it doesn't work, period. You know, the hearings come, to Steve's point, as the president is underwater in the polls. Gallup again finding the majority. 54% of Americans disapprove of the job he's doing. And Emerson, Emerson College uh, Congressman, Trump leads Biden by 12 percentage point points of favorability. It's 59 to 47. So he, the president is rapidly losing approval. Well, it's because of all these issues and these crises that were created by the decisions in the White House from Afghanistan to Ukraine, to inflation, to gas prices. You name the crisis that we've dealt with in the last year, and that's exactly why his numbers are the way they are. And thankfully and rightly so, the American people are sick and tired of the progressive left, left ideology that is driving the decisions of this White House. They want an America first agenda that supports Americans and American manufacturing and American ideology, and that's what Americans are for. And not answering the questions when you're asked. Steve, let's watch this, uh, watch more of what happened in the Senate hearing. Watch this. Do you think 7.2 months is too long or too short for someone convicted of rape to be sentenced to prison? Senator, that's a policy question about uh, the, the egregious crime of rape. And Congress has said that the court is supposed to take into, a number, take into account a number of factors when it sentences. Okay. I can't answer in the abstract. Well, these are, Judge, these are not abstract. These are very concrete. The government said added up to over 600 images gobs of video footage of these children, but you say this does not signal a heinous or egregious child pornography offense. Help me understand that. What word would you use if it's not heinous or egregious? It is heinous. It is egregious. What a judge has to do is determine how to sentence defendants proportionately consistent with the elements that the statutes include, with the requirements that Congress has set forward. Okay, here's the thing, Steve. 
Senator Grassley is saying this too. Uh, the White House has withheld, has not turned over 48,000 pages of her of documents on her service as vice chair of the Sentencing Commission. She's, uh, we have only seen, she's authored only two appellate court decisions. So we really don't know much about her legal philosophy, Steve. Isn't that the case? Yeah, it certainly seems to be. And as the congressman pointed out, if you don't know what a woman is, you don't know when life begins, uh, things like that, that raises very serious questions. And we've already seen around the country all these district attorneys that have gone light on crime, released criminals, and have made uh, have huge spikes everywhere in the murder rate and violence against uh, people, rapes and the like. And I think the American people are sick of this. They want true sentencing, they want true policing, and they want public safety. Period. Yes. Again. Congressman Steve's making the point that Americans don't want to feel railroaded into taking on as much as her legis excuse me, her judicial prowess has been talked about and she is a, seems to be a solid jurist. People don't know what her background and what her legal philosophy has been, Congressman, when it comes to the most important issue now facing many cities and states, it's rising crime. Well, and the fact that the White House is not allowing 48,000 pages of documents to back up what her decisions were in that panel that was, she was on tells you all that you need to know. And she's soft on crime, she's soft on child predators, and that's not the type of jurist that we need at the U.S. Supreme Court. Your final word, Steve Forbes. I think uh, this goes to show another example of the Biden administration being beholden to the far left and not to uh, the needs of the American people. Congressman Greg Stubbe, Steve Forbes, great to have you both on. It's good to see you. You'll come back Thank soon. You.